the first day I went to work in the school it was last lesson and I hadn't got any work to do it was the head of the English department was supposed to bring me some work but didn't bring me anything six lads walked in this room ah oh, yeah Effie ah oh, yeah Effie hitting each other around the head one ball one young boy came in with a ball and is pouncing the ball on the floor and I thought, Craig, you've got to get, you have got to get a hold on this because these boys are going to rip you apart, mentally and emotionally. I was petrified. <laughs> petrified. You young man, please can you put your ball away? Who are you have you talking to? You, please can you put your ball away? He came in with an extra worker and there was also an extra work in the class for six boys. These boys were the cream of the crop from that school. <laughs> <laughs> it was absolutely unbelievable. So I thought, Craig, you've got to get a grip on this now. So, if you stammer and you speak loudly, you can get through it. So I. So this is what I did. Everybody sit down, 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 everybody sit. Until they did. <laughs> that was half of the lesson gone. <laughs> I didn't have any work. But in my back, I had the video <coughs> of me when I went to the Starfish Project for three full minutes stammering like that and I thought to myself don't be so stupid I went into my bag I said gentlemen I don't want you to do any writing this lesson at all oh, oh yeah that's great sir I've got, I've got a short DVD that I'd like to play you And I played it for them. The six lads and the two workers were laughing their heads off. <laughs> Look at him, ah, return, ah. <laughs> Craig Thomas Hammond. South, South, <laughs> near, and I was lent on a table. I didn't know what to do. My first thought was. I'm going to have a breakdown right here, right now. Because emotionally, it was really damaging. But then something happened. Something happened to me. And I want to make it clear I'm an average, less than average, Joe Box kind of guy. From Yorkshire as well. <laughs> I'm an average guy, but all the laughing and the jibes in here, it just started to do something to me. And I thought, whoa, wait a minute, you. You signed up for this, Mr. Craig Thomas Hammond. You signed up to educate, to encourage. And to empower young people, did you or did you not? I'm having a conversation with myself while wow, these are laughing at me. <laughs> and it's building, it's building, it's building. 
And in that moment, I had a flash. A flash of the word alchemist. Alchemist. Who knows what an alchemist is? Yes, please, Clive. It is, yes, an old, I guess, chemist that turns things into gold. That turns things, items, into gold. And that's what was happening to me in that moment. All the pain I'd experienced. I felt as if I were turning it into gold inside. And I could give this gold to these young people. After the video stopped, I went up. Please do not get me wrong. My legs were shaking. I had to hold them down like that. In front of these six young boys and two workers. I switched everything off. And I just looked at them for around 30 seconds. And it went quiet. And I began with a quote. Although no one can go back and make a brand new start, anyone can start from now and make a brand new ending. Gentlemen, that's what I said to these young boys. Gentlemen. Do you know what? I built them up for around 30 minutes. And I told them that I'm far less than perfect. I've got things that I work on every day. If you don't think that's true, ask my beautiful wife and she will probably tell you a few stories. <laughs> And at the end of the lesson, it was home time, the bell went. Every one of those young men came up to me and shook my hand. Now, if I'd have run away, which I wanted to, and still do, the one boy with the ball who said that he was going to effing knock my head off. He came last and he said to me, Sir, can I open the door for you to leave this room? What an unbelievable young man. And now you haven't ever had a chance to wear this stuff. But he's had a chance to wear hear mine. And after me admitting, I'm scared every day. I am less than perfect. He wanted to hold me the door up. And he gave me his hand. And he had a weak hand checking us. <coughs> Squeeze my hand. Get a proper Yorkshire. <laughs> <Answer. coughs> Alright. And he did. He did. 